Good evening, you guys. I am back with another video. Um, today I wanted to do something different, something more beauty related, not shopping. And as you see from the title, my absolute favorites, things that I've been loving for the longest, things that I recently been doing that I've been loving, and things like that. So I wanted to share some beauty products with you that I totally recommend. And if you can get a hold of them, it would be great. It would be totally worth it. So I don't know. I don't have an order where I'm going to start. By the way, I hope everyone had a great week and wonderful weekend. Um, as usual, I'm constantly busy, constantly busy. Um, just work, kids, family. I've been under some stress. I've been looking a little rough. So I was like, um, let me look cute just for today. <laughs> um, yeah, sometimes we got to do that so we can feel good about ourselves. Um, I did my nails, not at the salon, but five below, you guys. Look how adorable from five below. So pick up some nails. You know what? We're going to start with that. Beautiful nails, beautiful design. People ask me all the time, every time I'm somewhere, where do you get your nails done around here? Because I live in a small town and I'm like, um, five below. So don't get me wrong. I love going to the nail salon, you guys. But ever since COVID, I've been a little iffy about it. So I've just been getting me the press on. So I'm going to, I hauled these before. But since I'm recommending them, I wanted to show you the ones that I picked up. So for $5, here's one set that I picked up. Like I said, I showed this in my last haul. But they're super, super adorable, you guys. And they're very sturdy. They're not really bendy. You know, like the real cheapy, cheapy nails. And you can still look cute on a budget, ladies, for five dollars. And if you don't, if you're like me, that you you know you're iffy about the nail salon right now, pick you up some cute press-ons, and you can still walk around looking decent with nice nails. And no one will know unless you tell them. So. That's that. I'm going to go with my favorite absolute go-to makeup palettes. Now, this one here is a staple in the beauty community. So, if you collect makeup, if you just love makeup, if you don't have this palette, I don't know where you're buying from or collecting or what the deal is. But you need to pick it up, girl. Of course, you got to have your Morphe. And I'm an earth tone type of girl. Um, sorry if it's a little dirty, but I'm going to leave the colors on there. I'm going to leave it. But this is the palette. I absolutely love. You can do so much with it. There's so many earth tone colors. And you can play around and do so many looks. Smoky eye looks, neutral looks, just everyday makeup looks, all kinds. So, for me, the Morphe palette is a must. So, I recommend that. Lately, um, I didn't have this for very long, but I've been loving this. It's also a neutral type of palette. It's by Too Faced, the chocolate bar. Another staple, the peach palette I love as well. It's somewhere around there. But I love this and it smells like freaking cocoa, you guys. But ooh. But look how pretty the colors. Gorgeous. I absolutely love these colors. Like I said, the neutrals, you can do your smoky eye. You can do a day or night look. Anything like that. And they're really super smooth. Totally recommend. And it smells delicious. Um, my next palette, I've had this palette for quite some time and it is one of my favorite palettes. Unfortunately, I don't use it that much. I need to start using it, but that's what happens when you have quite a few. You start picking your little favorites and you kind of stick to it, but I want to start using this more and it's the, I believe it's called the star palette. Maybe I'm wrong, 
by Kat Von D. Look at the packaging. That like like studded look. Absolutely love it. This is the back. And like I said, I don't use it as much as I should. But these colors are gorgeous, you guys. Look. Gorgeous. This blue right here is everything. I just wish I I was more daring. Like this is the most daring that I probably do. I wish I can be more daring with colors like this. But this palette I absolutely love. Totally recommend. And yeah, you guys, I've had it a while, like I said, but I need to put more use to this baby instead of having to collect dust. <laughs> and what else? Oh, one of my favorites that I use probably almost on the daily whenever I do have makeup because I like doing my little like black corners and things like that or you know, some color like in the in the tear duct and stuff is this right here. This is the Urban Decay Troublemaker. Let me cover it. See, it's super cute. It is not that many colors, but you can still do a lot of looks with it. I go for that black in the middle a whole lot. Let me show you right there. And today, underneath my eyes, I have this color right here. This little reddish, like burgundy color is called Relish. And I have this also here. So I use this palette mostly today for my look, along with one more other one that I'm not bringing because it's fairly new. Um, but yeah, so this is my go-to Urban Decay Troublemaker. I've also had this for a while. And then for blush and highlight and that glow that we be looking for is the Tardiest Pro Glow and Blush. It looks like this. I absolutely love it by Tarte. Tarte, I love Tarte. They make good products. And this is how it looks. And you have all kind of options. You got that bronze, you know, for bronzer, highlighter, blush options. You can even use it if you love the color that much for your eyes. It's whatever, but I love this palette. So those are my palettes that I totally recommend. So if you don't have these in your collection, go and pick them up. A lot of the time, like this, I got it from, I think, BoxyCharm. One of my subscription boxes is where I got this from. And everything else I bought you know, from either Morphe itself or whatever. So go and pick them up. The Kat Von D, I totally recommend. You can probably get it for really cheap right now. So go check that out. Um, Speaking of Tarte, favorite mascara right now is the Man Eater Mascara, you guys. I am loving this. As you know, I always say it. I'm, I love eyelashes and I do wear them here and there. Like, I'm not big. They kind of bother me a little bit. Maybe I just have to get accustomed to wearing them all the time. I'm not really great at putting them on. So that's probably why I don't put them on. I'm just like, whatever, I give up. But these right here make my eyelashes look so bomb. And I love the wands. These kind of wands. Hold on. As you see, like that kind of wand is like... You can really get in there and they, it has like the little tooth, like the little fine combs that are stretch and elongate your lashes. So your lashes look half the time, especially if you already have kind of like long lashes, you put this, it looks like you have lashes on, like not even kidding. So I put a few layers on and I'm happy with it. I absolutely love it. Totally recommend it. I don't know. Is this, um... I'm not sure if this waterproof or not. I didn't check, to be honest. Um, sometimes I like waterproof for certain occasions, but sometimes I don't because I have sensitive skin and eyes and I don't want to like really rub and rub to like scrape things off practically and it's very irritating. So, but if you want to go like to the beach or the pool or anything like that and look cute, you might want to wear waterproof. Okay, um, speaking of, let's see, 
taking off makeup. I hauled this last week. I haven't opened it yet because I still have a tiny bit more in my the one that I've been using, and then I'm gonna get to this. But this I highly recommend the NYX cleansing balm stripped off. You can get this on Amazon for about 10 bucks, 10 and change. If you go see my last haul, um I put the link on Amazon if you want to find it. And yeah, you guys, totally recommend any dark makeup, any makeup that you have like my um, all day wear, like lip stains and things like that, that is hard, that you scrub off and it's still there, this will take it off. This is very like oil based. It's super like greasy and oily, but it cleanses your skin and it removes your makeup. I haven't had my girls... Um, one of my girls, she's into like special effects makeup and things like that. And sometimes her whole face be red or whatever. This baby will take it off. Not even kidding. Try not to get it around your eyes. It's a little irritating on the eyes. Um, and if you have super... Well, I have sensitive skin and this didn't bother me. But I know my sister tried it and I think it bothered her. Or maybe it bothered her eyes too. I'm not... Re I don't really remember, but... Girl, you need this as a staple. So, my eyebrows. I switch it up all the time. I have the Anastasia, the little um, the little pod um, for my eyebrows. But ever since I got this from BoxyCharm, I believe it was, I've been loving it. It is kind of like powdery not so powdery but kind of and it's brow bar i can't see from who it's from but that's how it looks as you see i've been i'm hitting pan this is the color that i use the most totally recommend and it comes with a little um it's like a tinted you know it has a little bristle i don't know what you would call it but i don't really use that i just go with this color right here and I use this like waxy um, pencil by e.l.f. to keep like my hairs down. And then I go over it with this and my eyebrows last all day, even the next day if I don't take it off. Like totally recommend this. I do have other ones that I use. Like I said, the Anastasia and I forgot what else, but this is what I've been using. And when this is over, then I'll be, I'll go to the stash that I have. For setting sprays, I love the Urban Decay ones. Um, I also love the MAC ones. Sorry if you hear a ding. Someone just left me a message. It never fails that when I'm filming, I get notifications. But um, this is the one that um, I've been using when I like go out, go out, or just if I want to switch it up to something max um the fix plus it was another one that i love and then a cheaper version that i bought at the dollar tree if you've been seeing my hauls is this um hard candy one called defend sheer envy setting spray and it's, it has charcoal to detoxify anti-blue light anti-pollution and antioxidant and I've been loving this. I even bought backups and I only paid a buck. So if you can find it at Dollar Tree, great. Only for a buck. But if not, try to look it up. Maybe Walmart or someone will have it. But totally, totally recommend this. I even throw this on my face when I don't have makeup on. I spray. So that's that. And another one... You can use this as a setting spray or just as a refresher. When I tell you this feels so good, like it's so refreshing, like, oh my God. Oh, it's so refreshing and it smells like coconut. It's called Coco Gold Mist. I got this on BoxyCharm. It does have some glitter. So if that's something that you don't really like, then I wouldn't recommend this. If you just put a little bit, isn't you're not going to be like a shiny, you know what I mean, glitter ball. But it does have glitter. So the best thing to do too for, ooh, my earring. The best thing to do is like you can spray here and have like that cute little um shine. And it just smells so, so good. 
And every time I spray, I just feel like, uh, you know what I mean? One of those. So totally recommend. I got this at BoxyCharm. So I think that if you're not a member, I'm not sure if you can buy if you're not a member. If you can, I think, I'm not really sure, to be honest. But if you can pick it up some way, and if you are a BoxyCharm member and haven't received one of these, girl, this is the jam right here. But, like I said, um, it has glitter. Like, you see what I'm saying? There's some glitter up in there. So, if you don't put a whole lot, it's not going to be... See, I put some, and you can't really see, but there is some shimmer. But, oh my God, it smells like you were in the Bahamas or something. Um, Toners. I have this light fit real water toner cream. I have whole, I didn't haul this, but I've showed this before. I got this from, I believe it was Fab Fit Fun, which is a subscription box where you get like different face cleansers and all kinds of things like that. This is what it's looking like. And it's, um, it's like a little, it comes out like that, like a, foam not foamy but it's like after you put it on it's really like watery i'll put it on my hands it's okay but it has a clean like lemony scent to it and every time after i come out the shower and i wash my face or early in the morning after i wash my face i throw some of this on before i put makeup on or even if i'm not putting makeup on just to have it on my face so totally recommend this is a toner but it's like a cream toner. And then another thing that I spray is antioxidant spray toner by Dr. Brent. This is another one that I use. Um, I, I switch them up. I have other ones, so I'm constantly switching. But this one's almost gone. And I've been, this has been my go-to lately. And I believe, where did I get this? Either BoxyCharm. I think it was a boxy charm. And this is it right here. Totally recommend refreshing and it has um it's antioxidant. I need my glasses, you guys. I cannot see. With green and white tea extract. So it has great benefits for your skin. Um one of the things that also I use before I put makeup, I switch it up because I have other ones. I have one from Neutrogena, but this here is by Wander. It's a glow ahead illuminating face oil. So when I really want to go all out and put some like full face of makeup and everything, this is what it looks like. It's almost gone. And it's just a face oil illuminating so it illuminates your skin that's how it looks and it has it doesn't have a bad smell or anything and it just illuminates your skin so you can wear this before your makeup i've even put some after my makeup like on top of it as far as scents go i'm not big on I don't spend a lot of money on perfumes, to be honest. Um, I do have some perfumes that I really like, but I've been loving my mists lately. And the one that I've been loving is the one that I got from Bath and & Body, and that is the Warm Vanilla Sugar. I absolutely love this and every so often, I just do like a quick, whew, a refresh, you know, throughout the day. And if I'm around the bottle, if I have it with me, I do a refresh. And I love how this smells. So, highly recommend if you love vanilla, if you're a vanilla lover, you need to try this out. I also have like the hand soap and the shower gel. So, absolutely love this. It smells so delicious. It's not strong. It's just a very subtle vanilla scent. And I'm now up to my last products. This here is the concealer 
that I have been using. I got to see it. It's the um, Born This Way Multiple Use Sculpting Concealer. And it works great. Totally recommend this concealer. Born This Way. I forgot for who it is. I think it's Urban Decay. Maybe I'm wrong. I can't keep up sometimes, you guys. I'm in the color Natural Beige. Yep, Natural Beige. So give this a go, you guys. Let me see. I don't know why I can't remember what brand this came from, but it's called, it's Born This Way. That's it right there. Give this a go. I love it. it does, it's not really cakey. I love it. And the wand is perfect. So when you want to sculpt certain areas, um, you know, do a cut crease or anything like that, it does really well with that. You see what I'm saying? It does really well with doing cut crease or like sharp corners or anything. The foundation that I've been using, I use, I'm looking over, I have the uh, Maybelline Fit Me Foundation for my tan days. It's a much darker color and it fits beautifully. I also have the Jennifer Bradley's um, like concealer foundation thing, which is it's good. It, it does what it needs to do when I need it. But the one I've been loving that I purchased and I showed you guys before is this Milani one. It's the two-in-one perfect two-in-one perfect foundation and concealer, I believe it is. Yeah. Foundation and concealer. I'm a medium, I'm in medium beige. And I've been loving this. This is not so dry. I love like dewy look. So it's like a dewy finish. It, you can put it like double layer if you want more thicker. But my one little coat that I do does it for me. So highly recommend this one. I love it. And it, it doesn't look cakey and look all. Especially I have big pores you guys. And this works great. Let me tell you. My, I have three more things. These are my Superstay Matte Ink by Maybelline. These, when I tell you these stay, like, you really, that's what I'm saying. This is where this comes in. Because the sucker will not come off. You got to really scrub it off. And that's what they're called. Superstay Matte Ink. I have... Only two of them. And this is the first color. It's like a mauve pink color. And then this is a beautiful red color. And these suckers stay. They are not lying. I'm telling you, my girls, my girls didn't know. And I didn't tell them. And they, oh, mom, can I borrow this? And then at the end of the night, this doesn't want to come off. And then I have to, my little magic potion hand to take it off. Um, let me see if it gives a name. This, the red one is called Pioneer number 20. Doesn't want to really focus that much. And the other one is called, is number 15 called Lover. So, beautiful, beautiful colors when I tell you. And in case you were wondering what I what color I have on today, it's a it's like a it's purple pinkish color. It is by Cover Girl, and the number is three thirty, and it's called Divine. This is it, you guys, and I absolutely love it. This is the color right there. So it's darker than a moth, but it has that purple tone. So kind of on the pink, but purplish tone. Like my nails are moth, and as you see, you see what I'm saying? So it does have that touch of moth, but it's more on the purpley side. 
I don't know if it looks more pinkish to you, but it is in real life on a purple side. And that is it, you guys. Um, this is all my go-to fave, what I've been loving lately or been loving for a while. Highly recommended makeup. So if you don't have any of these products in your makeup collection, be sure to go pick them up. I highly recommend it. And yeah, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you've been with me for since the beginning, um, welcome again. I love all your comments and feedback and all of that good stuff, all the love. And if you're new here, welcome. Please consider subscribing. I have a whole lot of people that have watched me, but why are you not clicking that button? Like, click. Click the button. Subscribe. Subscribe. Plus, I wanted to announce that once I hit my 100, I want to do a really good giveaway. So help me get there, you guys. And one of y'all can be one of the lucky winners. I don't know what I'm giving away yet, but it's going to be good. I promise you. So um, in order to participate in any of my giveaways, any future giveaways, of course, you have to be subscribed. You have to like the video, comment below, and just follow me on Instagram at Shirley underscore Billings 39. And yeah, you guys, let's become friends. I also have a TikTok. I'm going to link everything below. Go check out my Poshmark store. That's not part of the giveaway. I'm just letting you guys know. Um, I have a Poshmark store that you can go check out. My eBay store you can go check out. I have a racing channel for those who are interested in. I just started the racing channel not so long ago, so I probably have like eight subscribers. But come on, you guys, help your girl out and go check out that channel as well. And I don't post as much as I do on this channel because obviously race car things take a little bit more time, but there is some videos there and I will continue to post some more. So anyhow, um, enjoy your evening with your family. Everything I've mentioned, um, I will link down below. I'm not going to be linking makeup products because obviously you can find those in various stores, Ulta, Amazon, Sephora, wherever. Um, but yeah, you guys, so have yourself a good evening and up until the next video. Bye.